seeing is eliminating or reducing the sibilant sounds caused sometimes with words with s, like in this sentence with words all having sibilants. Sailor Sam sells scrumptious scallops. The sharp harsh sounds of audio having loud sibilants can make for an unpleasant listening experience. The DSA, Lisp, is a 32-bit or 64-bit VST plugin available only for Windows. The download URL for Lisp is available in the description area of this video. I will just go over the basics of DSEing using Lisp. I suggest you refer to the manual that comes with this DSA plugin to learn more about how to properly use Lisp. This plugin is available only for Windows. If you need a DSA for a Mac computer, or would like to try out other DSAs, in the description area of this video, there will be a URL with other DSA recommendations. Now, I will open up the DSA plugin, Lisp, by clicking on Effect, VST, and Lisp. First, set Lisp to the original defaults by clicking here, then choosing Factory Presets, and then choosing Defaults. Your preferred settings may vary, but these are the settings I change from the default settings that you might like to try. The reduction knob controls how much volume is reduced from the sibilant sounds. At first, set the reduction to 20 and lower the reduction as needed. This reduction knob will be the primary control you will modify while listening for sibilant sounds. Change attack to 1. Click on Auto. In a few moments, I am going to play this quote that has a lot of sibilant sounds. And continuously play this audio in a loop by pressing on Shift F9. To listen to the sibilant sounds only, click on the Listen button. Once the audio starts to play, notice how the meter moves once sibilant sounds are detected. You only want to hear sibilant sounds when the listen button is selected, and not hear recognizable parts of the voice. If you lower the sensitivity to much lower than 1 and or raise the release very high, you might not only hear sibilant sounds being removed, but also parts of the words being removed. When the listen button is selected, you should only hear sibilant sounds being removed and not recognizable parts of the words being removed. When the listen button is selected, if parts of the words are recognizable as words, then raise the sensitivity to a setting above 1 until only sibilant sounds are heard and parts of words are not heard. Once your settings are adjusted to where only sibilant sounds are being heard and not recognizable parts of words, then you only need to adjust the reduction wheel should you wish to reduce the level that the sibilant sounds are being reduced. OK, now I will loop this one quote over and over and turn the listen button on and off where you can hear the quote and hear what sibilant sounds are being removed from the quote. Truth is ever to be found in simplicity and not in the multiplicity and confusion of things. Isaac Newton Truth is ever to be found in simplicity and not in the multiplicity and confusion of things. Isaac Newton Be sure to listen to the audio after applying DSA to make sure all the words sound correctly. Once you are convinced, 
after making adjustments to the Lisp plugin on a sample section of the audio, that DSA is removing only sibilant sounds and not removing too much sibilance that would negatively affect the intelligibility of the audio, then apply DSA to the entire audio track. And be sure to listen to all audio that DSA has been applied to, just to make sure that DSA did not negatively affect the audio. To apply DSA to the entire audio track, first select the entire audio track by clicking on Select. and then all and next click on apply that is how to use the lisp dsa to ds your audio thanks for watching please check out our website opportuno.org for more items that may be of interest to you. Thank you.